Today we're checking out SML movie The Meteor. Let's dive right on in. Yes. Tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Heck yeah, Junior! They're gonna be making oh, damn the NBA. On your back, blindfolded, while having cheerleaders fart in their face like this. <laughs> oh heck yeah, they are that good. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh hey, Cody. We have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. You want to come? Ooh, I do love the Ooh. Harlem Globetrotters, but I have something else going on tonight that's even cooler. What's even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their fingers like this? I mean, Whoa. that is pretty cool, but I think what I have going on is a little bit cooler. What could be cooler than that? That's well, there's this comet that only that's comes really by good every 100,000 years, and it's coming by again tonight. How do we know it only comes by every 100,000 years? Well, because last time it came by was 100,000 years ago. Who do we know that was alive 100,000 years ago that can confirm Dinosaurs? That? We don't know anybody. It's just they can track it. How can they track it? Like, did they send someone up 100,000 years ago to put a tracker on it? Wait, no, no. They use, like, math. Look, Junior, hop off my cock. It's gonna be cool, okay? It's gonna be even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> spin basketballs on their nose like this? Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be cooler than that. How are we even going to see it? We just look in the sky? No, you need a telescope. That's we really... Don't have a telescope I gotta say, that's really good have. editing. three tickets to see the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Well, Junior, look in front of you. The camera? No, next to the camera. Whoa, a telescope! Where'd this come from? Oh. oh, I got it from the telescope store. This puppy cost me 600 smackaroonies. You spent $600 on a telescope? That's the most nerdy thing I've ever heard. You know what you could have bought with <laughs> Nerd emoji. 60 Harlem Globetrotter tickets. Yeah, but I think it'll be worth it. This is pretty cool. So, we just go outside and see it? Well, yeah, yeah, Junior, I mean, think about it. This is only gonna happen once every 100,000 years. Even your great-great-great-grandkids aren't gonna be able to see this comet again. Hmm. Well, are you so sure the Harlem Gold Trotters uh, tickets were $10? Harlem Trotters spin a basketball on their wiener like this? Yeah, yeah, guys, it'll be way cooler than that, I promise. You won't how, regret it. Now, come how on, many times are you gonna show Jeffy okay. spinning that basketball uh, or something? All right, you pickle lickers. You ready to see something so old only cavemen have seen it, but they didn't even know what they were looking at because they had stupid little cavemen brains, but we know it's a comet because we have technology? Sure. All right. I just all right. Look through this little thing here. Uh, Junior, could you move? Why? Because I can only see your butt, which normally I wouldn't complain, but, you know, like 100,000 yeah. people can see your butt any day. Oh, look, it's the Big Dipper. You want to see the Big Dipper, Junior? Sure. Okay, pull down my pants. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it's so cold out here, it's more like the Little Dipper, but, uh... Oh, look, there's Orion's bed. Yeah, it's all shriveled up. Off and spank me with it, that naughty little constellation. Where's the comet, Cody? Uh, I have the, the telescope pointed right where it needs to be. It should be... Oh my god, there it is! That's so cool! Well, where, where, where? It just went by. Well, where, I wanna see, I wanna see! Well, it's gone now, Junior. It's gone? Yeah, it was going like 75 million miles an hour. I mean, it's gone. Well, when, when can we see it? 100,000 years from now? Wait, it's already gone forever? Well, yeah, Junior, I mean, it oh. was zooming, it's gone. Wait, we came out here, we, we missed the Harlem Globetrotters for this? Well, well, look, I'll find something else cool. Like, like, look, there's Saturn, oh, yeah. you can see Saturn. Let me see. What, th that's just a little dot in the sky. Well, but that's Saturn, though. It's a star, not a, hmm. that's not, that's not Saturn. It's not a star, it's just a planet, it's far well, away. Co Cody, I, th I think the comet's back. What, what are you talking about? The comet's back, look. What, oh my god, what is that? What, oh it's god, a it's meteor. Closer. It's headed right for us, oh. Oh. oh, nice. Uh, Cody, what's that? It's a meteor, Junior. And it landed in my backyard? Yeah. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know, like one in a trillion? Mm. Oh my god. I want to touch it. Wait, no, Junior, don't touch it. It, it might be like a million degrees. It just or fell like out of the sky. It was on fire. Poisonous. Well, we have to take it inside, Cody. It's a meteor. I don't want anyone to take it from us. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let, let's grab it. Uh, Junior, I can't believe we actually found a meteor. It really came from outer wow. space. Wow. Yeah, Junior, you That's a big-ass space, space rock. Space? I said yes, goddammit. Mm, you smell that, Junior? That's what space smells like. Mm. Oh, it smells like crap. Yeah, but they, they say space smells like burnt steak, so I guess that's what it smells like. I it could be like a it. turd or something. It smells bad. Well, come on, Junior. When am I going to get another chance to taste space? I'm going to give it a little lick. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, that does not taste good. Oh, what's, it, what's it taste good? It tastes like bunk. <laughs> what's it taste good? <laughs> <laughs> what's it what's it, taste it like? tastes like bunghole, Junior. Oh, hey. can I try it? No, no, Junior. Yeah, bunghole, uh, uh, it's an acquired taste. You don't want to taste oh. it. Oh, it tastes bad. Yeah, it tastes like straight turd. Oh, so what do you think it's made out of? Well, I mean, rock, probably. What, do you think it's made out of diamonds or gold or, or some material? We why does it taste yet? like shit? I mean, I, I don't know. But, I mean, what if it's radioactive and gives us all cancer? What? You just licked it. Oh, my God, you're right. I, I think we should call an expert just to be sure. No, Cody, we're not going to call an expert because if we call an expert, they're going to come take this from us and take all the credit and take all the money. What if this is how Bill Gates hmm. made all his money? I, I don't think Bill Gates made his money from a meteor. I think he made his money from making Microsoft. Maybe. How do you know he didn't find Microsoft inside a meteor? Because that doesn't make 
make sense. How would you find software inside a meteor? What if it was like inside yeah. like a, a thumb drive inside the meteor? I, I don't think that's what happened, Jimmy. That's insane. What if the next iPhone's in here? I don't. The next the iPhone. Their iPhones from meteors. That like iPhone 15 or 16 okay, or whatever. Fine. We'll, we'll call uh, an expert. But what kind of expert do we call? I think we should call a meteorologist. So we're going to have a cold front coming down from the north right. this week, and that's going to bring a lot of cold weather, hence the name cold front. Whenever I so have a like cold a weatherman front, it causes too? it to shrivel, so you can be expecting one to two inches of snow in the Chicago area. Oh, this week. So inches. watch out for black ice. That's going to try to take your car off the road because that black ice is very slippery. So now we're going to go down to local weather here in Florida. Uh, you're probably wondering why I just Miami. gave you the Chicago weather report. Well, I have a buddy flying into Chicago this week, and he wanted to know the weather. So there you go, Bobby. Uh, here in Florida, it's going to be hot again. You know, big surprise there. You know, low 80s, yeah. high 80s all week, and it's gonna be. Hey, hey, are you a meteorologist? What are you kids doing? In How the here? fuck did they? Yes, I'm all the way over right there now. to the well, news we station. Well, I'm in the middle of the weather. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to my pants? Oh, your pants are green, so they're blending in with the green screen. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't look like I have no pants on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a meteorologist, right? Yes, I'm a meteorologist. Can you come help us? What? Well, okay, fine. Uh, all right. Sorry, folks. Uh, that's all the weather for today. If you forgot what I said, just you have an iPhone. Look it up. All right, what do you kids want that's, that's so true. important you had to interrupt my meteorology? You know what's important? Colon health. I'm going to go take a stink. Okay, what? so what do you guys want? Well, you're a meteorologist, right? Yeah, you keep asking me that, and the answer's still yes. Well, we have a meteor here for you. Oh, well, see, I don't do that. You're oh. a meteorologist. You mess with meteors. No, I just do weather. You'd be called a weatherologist then. Well, oh. no, meteorologists just do weather. That's all we do. Well, next thing you're going to tell me, oh. you just don't study bisexual people. That's not what that means either. Well, my oh, wow. That, well, how do you even that, know this is a meteor? I saw it fall from the sky. Well, it sounds like a meteor. <laughs> was that no, supposed to be a jab because, because I'm bi or something? See, you know more about space than I do. Why don't you figure this out? <laughs> Whatever. You know, I'll let it slide. Know about meteors. Sorry, I'm dumb. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not what we do. We just handle weather. So what else are you good for? Well, not much. I mean, just 80-year-olds watch me on the news so that they can go, it's going to rain tomorrow. I need to cover my patio furniture. That's <laughs> what I think 80-year-olds sound like. Look, I'm a weatherman. Very I'm accurate. Weatherman. So then what am I supposed to do about this? I don't know. Just talk to an actual scientist, somebody who'd actually know. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back to work. Wait, is that my green screen back there? Oh my god. I'm not really a meteorologist. I'm a fraud. I'm just a big, stupid fraud. <laughs> what? Oh, man, I'm bored. Oh, it's the aliens. You hear that? A spaceship detecting that humans have found a meteor. Yeah, it's gotta be around yeah. seven blood tokens. Which will be rich. Let's go to Earth and grab it. Fair enough, put your feet in your so mouth. I, that, Junior. I had to go make a stinkaroni and cheese. Minus the roni and the cheese, so it was what? a stink. Give a piece of toilet paper on your shoe. Oh, dang it. Uh, Get that off. Uh, yeah. What'd the meteorologist say? He said he doesn't deal with meteors, just weather. But he's a meteorologist. Mm. I know, I said that too. So what do we do now? He hmm. said to call a scientist. Okay, I guess I'll go get the phone book and look for scientist. Huh? Oh, I'll answer the door. You'll answer it? Yeah, I will. Me. I will now leave to go answer the door. Ah, yes. Hello? Oh! What's taking Jeffy so long? Bro! Ah, uh, aliens! I didn't know there was gonna be aliens! Now give us this meteor! Ow, what was that for? I told what? you people were gonna try to steal this meteor. Yeah, it's very valuable. It's worth at least seven blurp tokens. Seven blurp tokens? Wait, how much Wait, is what? that? I'm gonna Google it. Um, yep, take your time. Hold on, uh, seven blurp tokens to US dollars. <gasps> oh my god, Jenny, that's $276! Oh, you're not stealing this. Yeah, we're not gonna let you- 276? I have a gun. Alright, take it. Damn, I guess we're getting robbed. Alright. I'm gonna put my gun down. Just... This is really heavy. Can you help me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Grab the gun. Sorry, I think I should grab it. Grab the gun. Oh. Aha! Oh. Oh. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Oh! He said, please, you still killed him. Yeah, I feel pretty shitty about that. You're a savage, Cody. I'm sorry. No regard for human life or alien life. Oh, wow. Monster. What are you gonna do about that one? Uh. uh oh, you're just killing all the aliens? I know, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, God. From destroy all humans to destroy all aliens. I think we should take this meteor to Dr. Finkelshitz. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because he is a science. Yeah, and then He's he a scientist. How much it's worth, if, it's, if it has, like, diamonds in it, if it's poisonous. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, come Let's on. go. Wait, it's heavy. It's heavy. I need help. Sorry, sorry. You're hungry. You say you're hungry. I will now create the perfect beverage to go with my lunchable because my mom forgot my Capri Sun. Mom, you slut! Okay. 
first, oh, I boy. will combine a little bit of green Powerade, yes, with a little bit of the blue Powerade, yes, yes, and then a little bit of the red Kool-Aid. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! <'em. laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be delicious. Oh, hey. What, what? Who are you? How did you get in here? Mom, why did you let these children in my laboratory? Oh, uh, boy. We found this meteor. It landed in my backyard. A meteor, you say? Good. You know uh, what that means? Aliens. I will take a look at this. Aliens. This is not a meteor. Well, yes, it is. It fell in my backyard. I saw it falling It fell from the sky. the sky. That is because this is poo-poo that fell from an airplane. What are you talking about? Well, you see, what the, the, the fuck? planes, they collect the poo-poo from the passengers when they use the toilet, and then they drop it from 30,000 feet, and it creates kind of a, a sheet rock. And then you have found this and brought it to me during my lunch break. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> Ew, I licked it too. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Cody. That sounded like uh, Shelly from <laughs> South Park. Uh, Junior, I can't believe I licked it too. Nobody told me it was a turd. Try to get the taste out of my mouth. What the fuck? the taste out of my mouth. You didn't hit it yet. It's hey. like shit. Thank you. Cody. I didn't like you're mean. So, Cody, like, this is an actual turd rock. That shit was yeah, not appropriate. Was but you said it smelled bad. Well, that's. I, I didn't. Do or that was, like, unexpected, enough. man. So, two aliens literally died over a turd rock. Yeah, I'm just glad Jeffy left before they showed up. So, what do we do with it? Do we, like, flush he it got, the he... toilet? No, Junior, it's a rock. We just throw it away. Okay, I'll go get a trash bag. Yeah, this is gross. It's literally a shit rock. <laughs> Cody! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Pablo. Oh my. Why would you. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, man. It's literally a shit rock. <laughs> what would you do if you found a meteor? Oh, yeah, do you mean a shit rock? If I found a meteor, then, yeah, I'd probably sell it if it was worth so much. Um, but yeah, um, definitely sell it. Hey guys, click on this video. You'll enjoy it. I swear. 